Hey guys, it's Will here from Potato Strong. Some of the comments I get from people, even uh, doctors, is that they don't have time. They like to eat healthy, they like to go plant-based, but they don't have the time to cook. And they, they say that fruits and vegetables are expensive and they don't, they don't really know what to do, you know, how to cook this stuff. And so that's partly why I'm doing, you know, this YouTube and Facebook and website is to show that healthy eating can be filling and tasty and pretty easy. I could make things a lot more complicated, you know, if I wanted to, but these things are tasting pretty good just the way they are. So the other day I, I, I made a rice and bean plate. So what I do is on the weekends or on the night, you know, after work, later in the evening, you can cook up a batch of uh, brown rice, make a big batch. I'll, I'll do two cups of rice plus the water. So you could do more if you wanted to. Put that in a huge container. So when you get home, all you have to do, if you have a bunch of canned beans, like kidney beans or black beans, you just rinse them and you know, open the can, rinse them and add it to the add it to a batch of rice and, and microwave it. I throw some cumin on there. I put a little side of salsa. And then with those corn tortillas I have, I just threw a couple in the toaster. And they crisp it up, crisp up pretty good. So that was a super quick meal. With the rice, the other thing I do is I make uh, tacos. So you just throw the corn tortillas over the oven racks like I showed and you make your own tort, you know, tacos. And then at the same time you throw um, frozen corn, beans, like black beans, rinse a can, throw it in a, in a pot, a skillet, with some, you could just drain some diced tomatoes. I put a bunch of like a chili mix or chili powder and, and cumin and dump in some rice that you've got. So there's your bean mixture and then I put that on the tacos and top it with some salsa. So that's another super quick one. I also make up a big batch of uh, quartered or mashed potatoes, so you don't have to peel the potatoes, but I, I just wash them, quarter them. Do the, you could do this on the weekend or on, uh, in the evenings. So if you have a batch of mashed potatoes, you can easily make our lentil shepherd's pie. So there's just a can of lentils, rinse those, and there's a few other things like some breadcrumbs and some just some spices, but there's and onions. There's no baking. You just, I mean, there's no uh, frying or anything. You just throw it in, add a layer of mashed potatoes that you've got. You could even just eat the mashed potatoes, make my quick gravy, just some flour and a few other things. Just add that to some mashed potatoes and put a side of corn or whatever your frozen vegetables you like, broccoli, cauliflower. Salad, super easy. I buy the big washed uh, containers of spinach and arugula, throw some stuff together and I just put some balsamic vinegar on it. And, and you can chop up some veggies if you want, cucumber, tomatoes. So many of these things are, are pretty easy, like I make baked fries quite a bit, so I just wash, like for myself, say I'd wash four potatoes, medium size, three or four. You just cut them on a cutting board into french fries, it's pretty quick, throw them on a, um, a baking tray with some parchment paper, bake it at three, three, you know, four hundred for half an hour, depending on the rack and, you know, your, your oven, and they get brown and you just throw some ketchup on there. Veggie burgers are easy, you know, if you want to make, you make some ahead of time or you can buy some, like a black bean burger, just fry it up, you, it takes, it's pretty easy to fry in, without any oil in a pan and just throw it on a bun with some, you know, pickles and tomatoes and stuff like that. So many of the things we make are, are just so easy, like with the canned beans, the lentils, black beans and kidney and uh, kidney beans and cans of diced tomato and and I, like I say, I got a batch of rice. Um, you could you could cook up a batch of soup. So, I mean, it's so easy, and it's it's really tasty. So, and as far as expense goes, the potatoes and the rice are are actually and beans are quite cheap. They're the staples. They're the starches. They're really cheap and e and easy to make. And, you know, to cook up. So, the things that might that are more expensive can be the fruit and the vegetables. But, you know, a lot of the meat and dairy is actually subsidized and, and is actually cheaper than it really should be. Um, but, 
like I say, if you use if you if you use if you cook what we do like as a starch based diet, uh, it's it's pretty inexpensive. Some people were saying like if they buy fruit and vegetables, sometimes it goes bad and they end up throwing out stuff. So you know, frozen vegetables can really help. Frozen fruit like with strawberries and cherries and things like that. Um, frozen corn and cauliflower and peas and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and whatever else you like can help. It's just easy to take it out and microwave it. Yeah, so no more excuses. I think it's it's just amazing and uh, I hope that you guys all get into this lifestyle and, and get healthy. And It's really easy. We just got to start doing a little bit of cooking for ourselves and and, and stop outsourcing all the cooking to restaurants and fast food joints and junk food and it doesn't take that much work and it's pretty easy you don't have to be a, a master chef I'm definitely not but I just did some experimentation and, and you know spent a bit of time to find some things that I like so hope that helps you guys see you later